On this episode, I find and lift Frankenstein's dumbbell, show my cats my hand thongs, get stuck in a mirror while flexing, and tease a dog with food. So as you can tell, I really like Top Gear. The British one, the only one, with James May, Richard Hammond, and Jeremy Clarkson. So forgive me for the intro, boys. I was just having a bit of fun. I hope you've liked it. I could continue like this, or I'll continue my normal voice. I have quite decided. Okay, we're gonna do normal voice. I'm doing pull downs. Uh, this is a magnum machine. I'm doing five plates. I'm not quite quite getting full range of motion, but it's heavy, and I like it. I did four plates, and I did full range of motion. After that, I did uh, four plates down from five, but I did full range of motion. I did a pause, and I did about uh, seven to ten reps. And after those, uh, with the pause with each one, so pausing at the bottom. Here I'm doing 175 of the minivan. I fail at the top of my forehead, just like you normally fail. It doesn't change the strength curve. You still fail in the exact same place. It's still working. The hard spot's just as hard. But with the magnum pull downs, uh, and then after, oh, before the four plates with a pause, I had my friend help me do negatives with five plates. Um, so he helped me pull all the way down, and I'd pause at the bottom, or at least try to pause with, uh, with my chin over the bar if it was a pull up and then slowly lower it to the top. So I get 165 plus the mini band. Um, it's got to be over 200 or I think it's right, it could be at 200 or a little above. And then I take the bands off and see how many I can do. My groove is a little off. Um, my groove was off the whole day today. I think I don't think this is the full potential of my strength because when I lifted 95 pounds up, my just my, just my arms, just, actually when just the bar, my arms felt heavy. So I think I was, stiff from whatever I did. This, this is about two days off from upper body, so I thought I was going to do good, but I'll probably have another good day in the middle of this week. And then uh, here, these are going much better because I had a little bit of rest. And I get five reps, which is a small PR. I did 175 for four, and now this is 165 for five. Uh, so in between this, I was doing the, the pull downs. So I was doing a vertical pull, and then I'm doing a vertical push. Usually I like to do that. It doesn't have to be vertical. Sometimes I'll do a row and a, and a vertical push or whatever. I'm warming up with the dumbbells. This, this gym, um, they have up to 200 pound dumbbells and I was gonna try that today. And just to let you know, I do not feel comfortable videotaping myself. I, it took me a while to get this level of narcissism and uh, egomania. I do not, I don't think I'm an egomaniac. There are so many strong people in this gym these are 110 pound dumbbells like there are people deadlifting 600 and squatting 600 all the time benching 315 with thick bands and uh you know benching up to 500 pounds so there's some strong people here so here's the frankenstein dumbbell yeah the the, the handle's all bent so i'm i'm swinging it but it doesn't look too bad in my opinion it's heavy as heck so I can do 200 here, I can do 220 on the cable low row machine, so it's pretty equivalent. And uh, those pull downs, it, it said 450, you know, it should have been 450 with the five plates. And that kind of sounds right, because I could probably do, kind. I could do a negative with uh, one arm of my body weight. So that would be 400 pounds uh, with two. So this sucker was heavy. And then, so all the warm-ups were, were clean, and then just the, just those were the cheaters. This, the, the, <laughs> the lift up to the chest was terrible to get to that starting point, because I'm not used to dumbbells. I do not do them that often. I think I should. My, so I should be able to lock this out. I should always be able to lock that out, but sometimes when you're doing presses, the pressing muscles just die all of a sudden. It's just interesting. So the purpose of today's workout was to do a heavy shoulder press and I had to maxed out with that single and then to do some heavy rows. And so I always work the full upper body and then do the lower body. So I'm always doing upper lower and sometimes I do a full body. Um, and today's purpose was to go heavier. I think it just wasn't the perfect day to go as heavy as I wanted uh, on, the, on the presses. But I think I'll get another one in a few days like I was saying. And then, uh, so, middle of this week, I might try to go heavy again on bench or something like that, because I think I'll be able to do it, and I think the shoulders will be fine. 
And then uh, later in the week, I'll do some 10 to 20 rep sets in more giant set fashion. And, uh, and then I might do another, another uh, light one like that. Um, people ask me how, how I'm training. I would always just tell people to train more frequently. I hear so many people just training a body part once a week, a chest day, and then a few days later while I do an arm day. And they do only back once a week, only legs once a week. Do all of those, do, do back and chest, do it two to three, four times a week. Just, I would just say train it as often as you can. If you, sometimes I'll chain my, train my chest and shoulders two days in a row or maybe three days in a row and it depends on how I feel. Just go, on, go off on how you feel. And sometimes you're strong uh, regardless of what you'd expect. I, I want my back here to have some more definition. I have none in my terrace major and lat and uh, there's a little bit of wrinkling going on there with fat. And then right here, the belly. That's what I want to get rid of. We got our high protein, <laughs> that's, that's high carb, like. that's high That's what I don't fat. like. But I like the I feel like I'm thicker. Meal. And that's my dog, uh, Zena. She's a warrior princess. Zena, Zena warrior some princess. Chicken sausage or sausage. Um, whatever the bow tie noodles are called. And there are sun dried tomatoes and peppers and onions and fresh garlic. I don't know why I'm making all the sudden, but. I'm trying to go to that Italian. No, that's that's still that's still Mexican. Italian, Italian. Ah, the Italian. There we go. We got the pasta. We got the pasta with the, with the chicken sausage and pepper and onion. The secret to the sound of Italian is to create extra syllables where they don't exist. You see what I'm seeing? Yeah, I see what you're seeing. We seeing some gains. Did that 1035 rack bow for the haters and the traps are gaining.